Guys, I haven't even started editing today because we've literally been on phone calls and doing meetings from like 9 a.m. to now. So yeah, sorry I haven't really been active on Snapchat today, but who's ready for the TED Talk? These types of videos, and guys, if you don't know what she's talking about, she's talking about the mall video where we stayed overnight. Um, these are the, t there's a bunch of screaming children in the background. What the fuck? Also, damn, my eye, I look like I'm stoned. I promise I'm not, guys, but it's what happens when you're staring at a computer all day. Anyways, those types of videos are like the ones that I watch and just feel super nostalgic about because I just know we can't do that anymore. If we get caught, we're gonna be thrown in jail for so long. Um, but yeah, I watch those and like the Explore videos all the time. All right, I went and got eye drops because of all those comments. Fuck off, I'm not high. What's up, Jack? So I'm a little biased. I grew up with dogs only, um, so I would say dogs right now, but that doesn't mean I don't love little kitties. Um, I want to get a cat at one point. That's what, wait, that sounded weird. That sounded really weird. I want to get a cat at one point. I don't know when, though. I'm going to get a cat. If I had to describe my music taste, it would probably still be like early 2000s emo um, or like pop punk, punk rock, anything that's like high energy like that, I guess. Um, kind of like, yeah, if you guys have heard my song, it's kind of like that. Like I, I made a song that I love to listen to pretty much, which kind of sounds conceited as shit, but like, why wouldn't you make music that you like to listen to, right? Um, but I love all music. I was listening to classical last week. Um, as weird as that sounds. And yeah, I guess like the only genre I haven't really gotten into is country. So if you are a country fan out there, let me know who I should listen to. I have probably gotten this comment more than anything else, tips for high school. Um, don't worry about it. I've said this before, but if you're like worried about who you're gonna meet or how you're gonna act and blah, 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 um, it doesn't really matter. It's all in your head right now, but just realize that when you're a bit older, you can do whatever you want in life. And then I would just say, do your best to like make good grades, like get your work done, try to meet people if you can. Like this is your time to like try to socialize and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, just figure out things like try like different hobbies and stuff like that. Figure out things that you like to do. And yeah, it goes by really fast. So try to enjoy it as much as possible. So this one's a little bit harder to answer because it kind of depends on what social situation you're in. You can be in school, you can be in a new city like me and just try to make friends with random people. It's a lot of different like things, but all I would say is if you're in a social setting where there's people like around your age, I would just be polarizing, be yourself. Don't be afraid to try to make conversation. And if somebody thinks you're weird for that, you wouldn't want to be their friend anyways. A quote that we always talk about is by Dr. Seuss. It says, those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. So just always remember that, guys. Um, I'm struggling with this right now, again, being in Vegas in a new city. Um, but I think if you can find people that have common interests as you, that's a great place to start. Join clubs, do activities, just be more outgoing and you're gonna meet people doing the same thing. Also, just continuing on this one a little bit, for example, with me, because we do YouTube, social media, and stuff like that, I have found friends out here through social media. Like, I just randomly started messaging people. If you've seen on, like, my TikTok, me going to, like, the foodie tours and stuff, that was just me messaging people on Instagram, being like, hey, I'm new here, let's hang out. And even the, these people are like not even like around my age, but like I'm hanging out with them because like I don't know anybody. And like I've been hanging out with like the Destination uh, Fear crew, who's like a paranormal um, TV show. And like we know each other because we're both like doing the ghost hunting stuff. So it's just like finding common interests. You see, Kara, this one's actually really hard because a lot of the people that could talk bad about you could actually be old friends or friends in general. And that sucks. I've actually had to deal with this a lot in my life um, and I would just say that the best way to get over it is ignore them and realize that they're probably not really your friends if they're talking shit behind your back got to realize there's a lot of fake people in this world and if you pay attention to the negative like that it's only going to hurt your feelings so I know it's hard but just realize they're not worth it just say go fuck yourself mentally in your head and uh, move on as hard as that is I personally don't feel comfortable giving any advice on depression because it is something that deals with a chemical imbalance in your brain. So you need to go 
and talk to a professional, go talk to an expert, go talk to a doctor about it. Um, but I can give you some advice on overcoming sadness if that helps. Shit, Sienna, if you have an ex that just won't leave you alone, that's kind of concerning. If they're not leaving you alone in person, that's even more concerning. I would actually probably get a restraining order because that's terrifying. But if it's like something like they're not, not stopping texting you or they're not um, stopping like blowing you up on social media, there's always a block button. Remember that. Block them. Um, they are obviously just still upset about the relationship and care a lot. And sometimes the best thing for those people, even though you think you might be doing a mean thing to them, is to get rid of them from your life so that they can move on, if that makes sense. This is the last one I'm gonna answer for a little bit, but I wanted to touch on this because a lot of people are just like, Colby, how do you not have a girlfriend yet, dude? Like, I just don't understand. Like, I'm looking for one, but what, they don't realize it's like, I'm super happy with my life being single right now. I have been really just focusing on myself, head down, like um, just trying to get work done and stuff like that, to be honest. And like being in my mid twenties, I don't want to be in relationship. Like I was in a relationship uh, when I first moved out to LA, but I kept her hidden from social media. And it was just like something that was so draining to me that like I realized I don't want to fall in love like that again until later in life um, and so right now I'm just especially with everything going on with like our business and the Sam Colby shit all that um, I just love where I'm at I just moved to a new city too like I'm in my mid-20s just trying to live my life you feel me